apologize if you can hear the dishwasher. But I thought I'd do another few recordings. Because I have a busy week again next week. But um, I'm, I'm making what mom called homemade a hamburger helper or what everybody else seems to call it good wash. Um, and I'll tell you how I'm making it this time because that's one of the beauties of it is it's versatile. You can add just about anything to it. Right now I've got veggie patties from Dollar Tree that I bought uh, a, a little while ago. It's uh, been a few months. Um, it's about half a pound. Um, and I like them because they actually taste like meatloaf or something. They don't because um, they have veggies in them and stuff. Um, but I don't buy a lot because I also eat meat. But um, I decided to make it with that. And then um, um, I, I, I've got um, elbow macaroni in there. I need to polish off a, a box of macaroni. Um, and I probably need to buy some more, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, it's, or I may have a box. I'll have to look, but anyway, um, I'm going to add frozen veggies. I might add an onion. Mom always did. I loved it with, with onion or, or two or three preferably, but that was for more people too. I'm not making that big of a batch. Um, and, uh, I'll add cheese, probably a few slices, which for what little I'm making is a lot of cheese, but I love cheese, and it's not very expensive. And, I'll, I'll add, um, t tomato soup, you can add tomato, canned tomatoes, you can add tomato sauce, you can add ketchup, any of those, really. But, I have, like, what feels like a lifetime supply of tomato soup because my sister she don't hate tomato soup but it's not her favorite and my nieces don't eat it as much as they used to and she had a ton and I was out <laughs> and she's like well close to being out I said and I need to buy tomato soup a couple months ago she said well I have a bunch and uh, they've all still got good dates on them but I also need to be using you know that's the thing about stockpiles. You have to use the stuff or it does you no good. And, um, so, um, that will be my lunch and my supper today. And, um, probably my lunch tomorrow. Um, um but, uh, anyway, um, um, that is what I'll be making. And tomorrow, I uh, got pork chops on sale. Pork loin, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I call them pork chops. Because they're pretty much pork chops, but without the bone. bone but they're pork loin. And um, they didn't have a lot of fat either. Um, but it was something they had quite a bit of, and this was a few months ago, but it's been in the freezer, and I just laid it out to, um, just now, so by tomorrow evening, it'll be, uh, good and, uh, thawed, and if not, I'll make it for Wednesday, but anyway, then, I'm gonna have, uh, either cooked taters, probably cooked taters, but I may be lazy and use one of those flavored uh, mashed potato packs that I got that were on sale but I don't think I buy any more of those simply because it's just me and I love mashed potatoes but I can't eat that many mashed potatoes before they go bad and it's like a lot of times I make two if I make it by itself because one don't seem to be enough and two seems to be way too much but anyway I'll probably make the cooked potatoes, and I'll probably uh, use one of my boxes of cornbread, and it will last me 
uh, probably a couple more minutes. Um, but, um, that, you know, um, um, sorry, I keep getting distracted. Um, but, it, you know, between that and the uh, goulash, I probably got four or five days worth of meals there. And, uh, it wasn't that much because the burger patties, I don't think they had went to a dollar yet where I lived, a dollar and a quarter yet where I lived. But even if they were a dollar twenty-five, and yes, I did use both of them, but I got the the thing of macaroni for a dollar at most, and I used about half of it, the half or so that was left, and I've gotten, I've already gotten several uses out of it. Uh, the tomato soup, even if I bought it, is for the for the generic or or um, on sale. It's usually about 50 to 60 cent, uh, especially at the time I bought it, or my sister bought it. I don't know if it's the one or two cans I had left, or the one of the, what seemed like 20 cans she had, but it probably wasn't 20, but it felt like it, at least 10 to 12, okay? It, probably more than that. Um, and then uh, the cheese I bought in bulk, and I put them in separate sandwich bags and I just uh, put down one at a time because it'll stay a few months in the freezer and it keeps me from having to buy it month to month to month um, when I catch it at the discount store I do that it's too expensive in the um, grocery stores um, the uh, pork loin like I said it was on, on sale. Uh, they had a surplus at the time and this was a few months ago because at the time they didn't have a lot of beef or chicken but they had plenty of pork and then the other times they don't have as much pork but they have more beef and chicken. You know how it's been the last couple of years. But uh, anyway, or it may have even been at that uh, discount grocery store which is different than the discount store I talk about. And I don't know if it's really a discount grocery store as much as it's it just they just sell generics but unlike the other store the actual discount store they sell everything you can think of like Walmart used to sell before the internet <laughs> it's just whatever they have of and it's first come first serve and they rarely put a limit on stuff you can buy on how many you can buy if you want to buy out their whole inventory of that, they will let you. So, um, but, and of course most people don't do that because a lot of times it's either feast or famine there. Like, they haven't had trash bags there for months, but when they finally get them, they'll have hundreds. And it's like a hundred trash bags for less, for the same amount. But usually less, usually a couple of dollars less than what you pay for 40 generic somewhere else. And it's wrapped in a plastic thing. I don't know if it fell out of a box or what, but th that's how it comes to them. They have a deal with Costco. And um, there's another gentleman around here that has a deal with uh, Walmart, uh, with Sam's Club, if you will. And they take all of their... Uh, they take a couple of uh, one to two truck fulls, depends on where, either once a week or twice a week or every other week. It, it's a contract with them. And they sell it to them by the truck full, and then they decide how much they will sell it to you. It's all stuff they've overstocked on or like um, the dishwasher packs if they have a little um, if the tops have to be taped and sometimes it they're not even torn at the top the little flip over the lid uh, that you have to flip